This fall has been dry, but what about this upcoming winter? First of all, La Nina is expected this winter time. La Nina, simply put, is a lower temperatures off the coast of South America. That's all La Nina is. Uh, however, this pattern puts forth into motion a series of events around the world that affect weather patterns all around. And so what you're seeing here with the sea surface uh, temperature anomaly map is the below average temperatures off the coast of South America that extend all the way off to the west. So this is how it affects the United States in the winter time. What you get is this big strong area of high pressure near Alaska. So it creates this dip in the jet stream off along the west coast, but it doesn't make it all the way into southeast Texas or really for the southeastern United States. So typically what we get when there's a La Nina in winter is warmer than average temperatures. You get cooler than average temperatures in general off to the northwest of us. Now when you look at precipitation, because the jet stream is still to the north of us and here's where the moisture feed is, you get above average uh, water moisture uh, precipitation in the Pacific Northwest and also near the Great Lakes in the Midwest. But we are drier than average in this country. Kind of pattern. So when you look at the past La Ninas in Houston uh, and you add all of them up together, 78% had above average temperatures. 67% had below average precipitation. And so uh, really when you get this La Nina, you could see how the correlation uh, really goes toward that forecast I was just giving you. But this is important to keep in mind. Uh, this is what this means. It will still get cold at times. You have a three month period of winter. And so it's not going to be above average every day. It's just at the end of the three months, that's how it should end up. It can still get cold at times. You can still get freezing temperatures. You can still get snow with precipitation with some of that cold Day, or especially if the jet stream really pushes farther off to the south. But in general, what you get is above average temperatures and below average precipitation. So we'll see what happens. Of course, we'll be watching that for you as we head toward December, January and February. For the end of October and early November, what we're going to see is temperatures way above average, near 90 degrees all the way through the start of the weekend. There is some rain in the forecast, small chances as we head toward Tuesday, Wednesday and Halloween. And again, Friday of next week.